Unscrew the spinner. Now loosen the thrust screws on the tension nut stepwise with a quarter turn, beginning on the top screw. Repeat this procedure until all screws are completely released. Do not fully loosen single screws. Remove the tension nut and the pressure disc completely from the rotor. Mount the pull-off device on the rotor and pull off the wheel. Now, fasten the suspension device with a bolt to the sleeve on the rotor. Attach the lever carrier to the wheel Pull the wheel onto the suspension device. Secure the wheel with the turn pin. Remove the bolt from the sleeve and lift off the wheel. Place down the wheel onto a wooden support and remove the suspension device. Clean the splined profile on the shaft and in the compressor wheel thoroughly. Copy the balancing mark of the compressor wheel to its inlet surface. Mount the slide and the lever carrier on the compressor wheel. Lubricate the splined profile and the compressor wheel seats with Molycoat P40 to protect against fretting. Screw the sleeve onto the tension rod of the turbine rotor. Push the greased tube of the support through the slide. Secure the wheel with the turn pin. Align the tube and the rotor shaft horizontally using the hexagon bolt on the suspension. Fasten the tube to the sleeve on the rotor with the pin. Pull out the turn pin Align the compressor wheel with the balancing marks. Slide the compressor wheel onto the rotor. Remove the suspension device. Move the compressor wheel into its end position using the assembly ring and the pressure disc of the tension nut. The hub collar of the wheel must be flush with the bearing casing. Clean and lubricate the main thread with Molycoat P40. Screw the thrust screws fully back. Attach the pressure disc to the compressor wheel. The pressure screws of the tension nut will leave imprints on the pressure disc. This is not a reason for exchange of the disc. Burrs on the pressure disc can be removed with a file. 
Screw the tension nut onto the tension rod by hand. Screw it a quarter turn back. Screw in all thrust screws by hand. Then tighten four screws over cross with half of the tightening torque. Tighten the rest of the screws. Tighten four screws over cross with full torque. Tighten the rest of the screws with the same torque. Repeat the tightening in a circular direction until the pressure screws are screwed in, approximately two to three times over. And the gap between the disc and the nut is nearly equal on all positions. Fasten the spinner with a ring spanner.